Welcome everyone, this is Alex Burke from the Salem Museum and Historical Society. And for this week's installment of White Glove Wednesday, we are here to look at, take a look at the artifact right beside me. And it's made out of wood and metal, and you can probably guess it's a sewing machine. But this isn't a singer from the, eight, uh, from the 1800s. This is a Wilcox Gibbs sewing machine from the 1870s. And it came from the Preston Place, which is Salem's oldest home, built in 1821. And that's part of the reason why it's so well preserved today. But you may be asking yourself, why have I never heard of Wilcox Gibbs? It's because they aren't nearly as popular today as Singer, but they do have a truly fascinating company history story. And that can go back all the way to 1857 when James and Charles Wilcox and James Gibbs came together to create this company. The, idea, the engineering of James Gibbs helped result in the sewing machines being produced and they had experienced a lot of pre-war successes in, up in New York. But the problem came when the American Civil War started. James Gibbs was a native of Rockbridge County, Virginia, and the Wilcox, Wilcoxes were from New York. So Gibbs left the company in New York to travel home to Virginia to serve his country in the, Virginia in the American Civil War. And his Civil War story could be described as a struggle. Enlisting originally in a local cavalry unit, he lasted about three weeks when he ultimately contracted typhoid and pneumonia and had to retire from the Confederate Army. Deemed unfit for any service, his, he was quickly bought a home in Rockbridge County and was content to wait out the American Civil War. But that changed when David Hunter's army worked his way down the Shenandoah Valley in June of 1864. And he, well, James Gibbs was present at the dis Confederate disaster at the Battle of Piedmont, where the forces there were destroyed, giving David Hunter an open avenue to work down the Shenandoah Valley. Upon returning home to his homestead at the end of the war in April of 1865, James Gibbs noticed his house was in shambles. He was broke, he didn't have any money, his house could be described as old and run down. He was in dire financial situations. So he decided to travel back to New York to see if he could get his job back at the sewing machine company. And upon returning home, upon returning to New York and walking into the office, he was greeted with open arms by Charles and James Wilcox. And they actually handed him a check for $10,000. This check was for all of the sewing machines the company had produced during the American Civil War. And this was life-changing money for him. Actually, the check actually had to be kept in a secret bank account so that the money wouldn't be seized upon because it was being saved for a Confederate soldier. Once, his, once he received this check, he's moved his entire family up to New York and then he continued to work in the sewing machine industry, designing different models. But that's gonna conclude it everyone for this week's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. This was Alex Burke from the Salem Museum and Historical Society. I'll see you next time.